I am now considered the number one 75 overall guard on NBA 2K24, and this is why. So it all started this past weekend where an event called Boot Camp was released where 2K would hold multiple four-hour events in which you could only compete on builds that are 75 overall or lower. And the top five players over the course of those four hours would receive unlimited playmaking boosts, 25,000 VC, and some other, you know, Gatorade boosts, and an exclusive boot camp jersey, which is now the rarest jersey in the game, considering only five people per boot camp server has it. So let's take you where it all started a couple weeks back where boot camp was announced and I was deciding on what build I wanted to make for it. Also, make sure to drop a like on the video right now and subscribe to the channel because we got some Christmas giveaways coming soon and I don't want y'all to miss out. All right, y'all, I have been cooking up builds for hours for this boot camp event. And right now it is November 27th. And boot camp doesn't come out until like December 8th, I think. So there's a good amount of time until this event starts, but I want to max out the build. I want to get ready for this event, right? I want to have a build ready. And I've been cooking up for hours. And basically what I found out in this builder is when I make like a default 60 overall, if I have stats upgraded way past where I want them to be when I'm just a 75 overall, I will have an advantage when I upgrade to 75 overall. So what I mean by that is let's say I get my pass accuracy to like a 98 right and then i continue to max out this build to my liking when i load up the build as a 60 overall as a 60 i will have an 80 pass accuracy so let's say i want to make like a 6-6 six, six point guard in my case for boot camp as a 60 overall i want the stats that i'm already going to upgrade as high as possible so i'm going to upgrade pass accuracy way past where i'm going to want it ball handle speed with ball steel speed excel stamina three-pointer post control because i'm gonna make a six six and a lot of six sixes or every six six can't get gold unpluckable unless they have a super high ball handle and as a 75 overall i'm gonna have to save some attributes and post control is very cheap so anyways i'm gonna cook up the and show y'all the build that i ended up going with and show y'all what it looks like as a 60 overall and then we're gonna upgrade it to a 75 so y'all can really see what i'm talking about so the first thing i'm gonna do is actually max the post control or I don't know about max it. Oh, well, yeah, max it to 92 post control so I can get that gold unpluckable because when you're upgrading post control, it doesn't even really affect your overall. Like, you're going to see when I upgrade my build, like, my overall doesn't even really go up. I think maybe up, like, one. You see, I'm already, like, only a 34 overall, maxing the post control, and that's going to give us gold unpluckable. And we're going to be going against a lot of good lockdowns when we play comp games and boot camp, and they're going to have gold gloves. So I'm not trying to get ripped every play. Y'all know how 2K24 works, so that'll help me a little bit. Now, three pointer something we're going to have high, so I'm going to max that out something else i'm going to do is max that ball handle to a 93 and max that speed ball to an 84 because i'm going to be upgrading those stats as well now with pass accuracy my goal as a as a 75 overall is to not even touch the pass accuracy and still have like a 65 pass accuracy and what i found is that if i upgrade my pass accuracy to exactly an 80 and i upgrade the build how i'm going to upgrade it it'll be a 65 pass accuracy without even upgrading it as a 60 overall which is good enough running a pick and roll in boot camp. Another thing I'm going to do is put my steel to a 91 because a lot of these guards that are going to be competing in boot camp are just going to go all offense. And what I want to do to get some extra my points to get on that top five leaderboard as a guard is to also play defense. Because if I'm only getting stats on offense, I'm just going to be on the same level as all those guards. But if I'm getting stats on defense, I'm going to have a huge advantage against a lot of those guards. And I'm still going to be putting up a good bunch of good offensive stats. So then we're going to max the speed, max the acceleration, and then max the stamina. Now, at this point, I really have everything I want. So what we're going to do is just upgrade a couple other miscellaneous things. And the reason why I'm doing it, that is because if you upgrade some things too high or too low, it'll affect how your 60 overall shows up. It's really hard to explain, but trust me, I've been labbing it out for hours and i know how to create like the best default 60 overall for what i want to make to make the best 75 overall if that makes sense so what we're going to do is get the dunk to a 65 then the standing dunk to a 46 there we go put the free throw to a 70 put the mid-range to an 85 and then we can put the vertical up one and the offense rebound up to a 28 so this is the build we're going with now by the way i'm not using this build for anything except boot camp so i'm not it's not like i'm going to be using this build max out at 99 overall for like future stuff no this is just a boot camp build so i'm purposely upgrading these stats just to make it come out to be the best 60 overall as possible so i save some attributes to upgrade what i want 
so I don't go over that 75 overall limit. So anyways, let's go ahead, finish the build out, and we're going to get comparisons to LaMelo Ball, Jamal Murray, and Sleepy Floyd. And that's going to give us the shot creating three level threat, my boot camp build. All right, we are in the park with the shot creating three level threat. We are at 60 overall. It is time to upgrade this build to our liking. All right, I finally figured out the best way to upgrade this build to a 75 overall. So we went 92 post control to get gold unpluggable, 92 three pointer. We're not going any midi, it's just too expensive. 83 speed with ball to get Jamal Murray behind the back and the rest of the other dribble moves we want while still giving like silver speed booster. 75 speed with balls for Magic Johnson, 91 steel for gold old steel badges and yes we are upgrading this we got a little speed and excel and max stamina for those speed boosts and dribbling badges as well and now we are at 75 overall once again it's only like november 27th and we have a long way until boot camp but we are officially ready we're gonna grind out this build we're gonna get ready for boot camp this 6-6 six, six shot creating through low threat it's gonna be dangerous that's all i'm gonna say we got our rebirth badges that's about it by the but by the time boot camp is gonna be out we're gonna have this build ready to go what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double h and we are back and boot camp has officially started now let's go over the lineup i was running what builds we were using and then the first game i show you is gonna be a perfect example of our method of how we were going to win boot camp so this is the team we had right here as you can see and we had all agreed prior to the event what we were going to do to help at least one or two of us get into the top five so y'all see me in the middle i'm point guard y'all already know what my build's looking like and my job for this event was to try to score every single point for us assisted by our center not only that if we were up by a good amount or if we were playing a really bad team i would try to cherry pick or leak out on the break to get as fast three pointers to end the game as fast as possible so a big thing for me would be shooting percentage try to make all my shots try to shoot the best i can to end the game as fast as possible and to give me the most my points and then of course sometimes i would occasionally get the occasional rebound or assist to our center if needed and i would also have a 91 steal like y'all know so i'm going to try to get in as many lane steals as possible while trying not to foul to make the game take longer and then our center swags return his job for the event would try to get as many rebounds as possible and then every offense possession get an assist to me and if that wasn't available slip on the screen and take the open dunk then our lockdown gg was the one that was going to play as much great defense as possible and he would be the player that would sacrifice and not be able to get into the top five for not getting as much my points but he's going to try to get as many stops for us as possible he's going to be pressing the inbound to try to get a steal as fast as possible to get us another offensive possession to get another three up to end the games as fast as possible and then as you can see when we loaded up boot camp we realized that the rewards were looking great i already said what the top five players were going to be getting in the intro and as y'all know that boot camp jersey is the first clothing item that is only gonna be gotten from the top five players making it the rarest clothing item in the game and not only that this was like the second or third boot camp server and what we noticed that was mostly only centers and big men were getting in the top five so as a point guard i had a lot of work ahead of me i had a lot of people to prove wrong to show that a point guard could win this event so we are finally about to get into the game place now there's multiple comp games i'm going to be showing throughout the entire video and yes every single game at least one play from every single game will be shown and y'all heard me earlier i thought it was impossible to win on guard you could see the dms with me and swags i was telling them yo like we can try again on this third server which was this boot camp server i thought it was gonna be impossible to win on a guard bro like that's how much the centers were dominating this event boot camp okay y'all know that we're all on 75 overalls and we're gonna talk about the glitched overall stuff in the intros of these games i'll explain later but anyways you see this is like our fourth game into the event i hit a three on a fast break i talked to y'all about the methods earlier in the game you see i'm trying to get the inbound steal right there make them over dribble a little bit then leave them wide open go cherry pick we need these offensive possessions to go as fast as possible okay we need to put up points, put up threes as fast as possible. We need to get these games done with as fast as possible. This is a race, okay? This event is genuinely a race to finish these games. If you can get games done in two to three minutes, four minutes, you're going to win this event, okay? You see, we're already putting up threes. We're, we're bar barely a minute in, and we're up nine to three. We're leaving dudes wide open. He hits a shot. If he hits it, he hits it. But if he misses it, we're gonna have a fast break three okay 
So that's why we start cherry picking or leaking out on the breaks once we get a little lead or if we're playing a bad team that we're confident against. And that's why we always check the opponents before the game starts. Their three point percentage is probably the most important thing that we check. Anyways, up 12 to six, we're playing defense right here. And like I said, I got to get as many steals as possible. And we get a lane right there. Call me Richard Sherman. We pick it off. Remus Island, whatever. Pull up three. That's green. And look at that. We're up 15 to six. I haven't missed a shot. Once again, we're trying to get as many my points as possible. Now, I'm going to be joining off um, someone's name that's sitting in the event center. Y'all know this. I do this all the time. It's called an inbutter to get through because joining off someone's name is a lot faster than like waiting through the menus to see how much my points you got. But I, I'll get I, I get like 10 to 11 K by doing this. Shoot as high percentage as possible. Get these possessions done with as fast as possible and maybe get an occasional steal rebound and assist so right here boom we already end the game 21 to 8. i join someone in the event center we get into the event center and then what we do is we squad up immediately so we you know see i'm loading in after that fast game it was like a three minute game which is very good got like 10 or 11k from not missing a shot getting a quick steal you see i invited my people to the squad and look at four games in i have 41,000 points and i'm first place now look at my overall you see i'm a 75 overall we're pointing to that for a reason yes this builds a 75 overall because that's the max you can play on in boot camp but check this out okay and you're going to see this in the intro to every single game and i'm sure some people will be commenting about it it shows that i'm a 77 when you look at the matchup breakdowns but clearly i'm a 75 so there were some people in games like maybe one or two throughout the event they're like Yo, this dude's cheating. He's on a 77 overall, but bro, I think I broke the game. Like my 75 overall bootcamp build is so good that it shows up as a 77. Y'all gotta subscribe to the channel for that. that that's kind of crazy. Like I'm really just the 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 build god. Okay, that's literally what I am. Anyways, we finished that game right quick. We are now second place. Now it's altering with Trey Riggs in first and second. You see solos up there. We got a couple other good players up there, and look at we get matched up. With our first comp game we were playing the yo chill clan and xbox sweaty clan so it was time to lock in okay first possession i'm on ball i can play on ball defense like we had a lockdown but i got a 91 steal i got i'm 6-6 i can guard ball that's okay i got good defense but the pop is open and green now we were running with the inside center swaz could not shoot just so y'all know that he didn't have a three-pointer on his center build so it was interesting to play against a team with a popper. You see our lockdown, full court press in this dude, making him come off the ball. And look at GG, my boy GG. The, he was our lockdown. He was going crazy. Gets a steal. I missed that pull-up fade. But look at Swags with a clutch offense rebound right back up to me. I missed again. Another clutch offense rebound. I'm like, okay, I got to chill because my shooting percentage is a big thing with getting my points. I already missed two. So that's going to suck. That's going to cost us. Go right corner. Go right corner. Got that. I got board. Oh, good shot. Good shot, boy. Shit. Come on. Lock in. And as you can see, we were communicating. We were super locked in, especially in these competitive games. And getting that three was pretty clutch in the possession with like one second left. So 5-3. GG gets another steal. Dude is locked in for us right now. And yes, he's not going to be competing for top five. It's just going to be me and Swags. But we're going to pay him. We're going to pay him. You know, we're going to cash out my boy if we win this event because he deserves it. He's go If, you know, our lockdowns are playing good and we win the event... They gonna get right. We're gonna get them right, okay? Because they deserve playing this good for you know four hours. You see, I miss. I get a steal right quick. Five to three. Little fast break, like three pointer, catch and shoot. Bang. Eight to three. So we got a good lead right now. We gotta get like one or two more stops, and then we can probably start cherry picking on these guys. You see, Swags and GG with the great defense, and GG with another steal. What is that? Three steals. The, the other team is flopping. I'm telling Swags to just take our free points, and you could tell the other team was like yelling at each other. Like they had a dude flopping. They were definitely arguing. Then we get another steal. That is four, four, five. I think it's our fifth steal of the game. I should have fade away corner three. Y'all already know what color that is. And we're going off with our 75s. Like, GG is looking like a 99 overall lockdown. I got the sense. Stop not a nigga when he give up. He'd be like that, though. Could have just saved all the trouble. Oh, God. Could have saved it. This is for in front of people. He came out this bitch and got embarrassed trying to be something you're not. Oh, God. He gave me four Man, We just took a whole right. team out, bro. Oh, my you're God, so bro. low. GG want his cash up. I ain't even gonna lie, gang. You go get. 
So that was my boy GG and Swags talking. I mean, they were locked in, bro. They were talking their stuff to the other team. As you can see, I'm second place right now. And like I said earlier, we're going to pay my boy GG. My, like my Swags was talking about the cash over there. That's that's what he was talking about. We're going to pay him when we win this event because he's locked in and he's not going to get the top five rewards. And if 2K is listening to this, y'all got to change it so where the team wins the top five because this individual player stuff got to go. I ain't going to lie. But anyways, as you can see, we're still top two. Like we've been first or second place the entire event you see i get a steal at the end of this game right here i'm shooting 88 percent get a little quick three boom that game's done and i'm telling you we were hawking look, look, i'm back in first place we're almost at, almost at a hundred thousand my points and we're not even an hour into the event you know and look at i'm shooting 100 percent from three this game i got 17 points and i was looking like stephen curry out here because the goal was to get swags to get an assist off of my points so i wouldn't try to score unless he assisted it so i was like dexing off ball i was really looking good like steph curry trying to get open off ball get this little shout out right here get the quick three join the invite and we back in it and look at now i'm back down the second like i was really switching between first and second you see the leaderboards we got some other good players up there as well you see solos up there i'm pretty he was on a center a lot of centers up there okay not a lot of guards and i'm up there for a guard like first second for a guard like trey was on a center as well like it, i'm telling you it was rare to be a guard and be this high on the leaderboards. Look at second place, 101,000. I'm only a thousand behind first at this point. And there's plenty of other competitive games left in this video. Wait until y'all see, like we played some crazy teams in this video. You see we're on the fast break. They're trying to double me. Bro, these dudes could not guard me. It's crazy. Like people were throwing two or three at me some games and they could not hold my 75 overall. Look at back in first place with 111,000. Guys, we are 50 minutes into the event and we have finished 11 games do you realize how crazy that is that is genuinely insane okay we are finishing games in like three or four minutes maximum this team right here we're we 21 owed them this dude's on cold couldn't hit an open shot we 21 to oh yo 21 owning a team on threes is absolutely insanity okay you see i dropped the third place right there but my teammates ahead of me in second so it's like it's not even a big deal and by the way as long as we get top five we all get the same rewards okay so we're going for top five but we can get first place that would be crazy because not only is first place crazy enough but to do it on guard i'm telling y'all bro to win this event on guard is actually a lot harder like you get less mob points usually than a center does unless you're just like playing good defense which is what i was doing a lot of the time even though i was cherry picking a lot or leaking on the break i was getting my steals okay so yeah i was leaking out y'all but Hey, I'm getting my defensive stats. You know what I'm saying? What are y'all talking about? Okay. Anyways, 20 points, 100% from three. Look at heat check, shooting over those. That's a yellow. It don't matter though. When I tell y'all I was in my bag in this event, like I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't miss, bro. Like, yeah, maybe there was like one or two games this event, which you're going to see later on the event where I, yeah, I had a bad game shooting wise, but bro, it's a big reason why I won this event was my high shooting percentage. It, it really is you look at the top right every game and you will see my three-point percentage more than likely not it it's in like the 70s or 80s which is absolutely insane on 2k24 as you can see we're back in second place we're about at over an hour into the event so two hours and 50 minutes left and we get into our second comp game now this team they had ankles and faded talent who were both top 15 in the event at the time so this is a big game if they beat us we're gonna go down in the ranks if we beat them they're gonna go down in the ranks you know so this is a comp game we have to win this game okay so getting into it we are up 15 to 12. they have ball i have takeover both centers have takeover and this team how they were playing was a little weird like as you can see they had their point guard just dexing off ball with the inside center just waiting to throw it and they would not pass to their lockdown look at we're getting steals off it like i don't know what it was they were playing very sus like my center swags was saying that their guard had a zen i don't know if that's true okay we're just gonna say he didn't have one because i don't like to you know throw some claims out there but i mean if he did have one i would if he did have one they would play like this right like they, they're acting like there's one guy on the court look at he just shoots that with confidence 21 percent in our face right there we get the ball back 18 to 15 and he's a small guard bro so i'm shooting over those get him off the court but yeah that team played pretty weird but we're gonna play that team later in the video so make sure to look out for that that's not the last time we would be seeing them second place uh, once again the very next game we get into a comp game we're playing against d buckets i played against him before he's a lockdown we're playing against patch made ant who is a sharp shooter that wins ruffles when he's like one of the best ruffles players but bro 
I don't know what was going on, but I started cherry picking this game. Like, it got bad. They could not hit a shot. You see, I'm 100% from three. They gave up. They're literally flopping. They completely gave up because they could not hit an open shot. So that ended up being a super fast game for us, getting us back into first place. I mean, we are hawking 171K just an hour and 17 in. We are at an all-time speed right now. Like, we're looking like Lightning McQueen type of thing. Like, well, that's how good of a race we are having right now. Okay, we're about to win a Piston Cup. I don't know what I'm yapping about, but we're doing good. Okay, that's the bottom line. Okay, so up 20 to 9 right here if he, as he hits that open three. Yes, yeah, sometimes that happens when I leak out. You know, the team hits the shot, but when they don't hit the shot, it saves a lot of time. Right here, we just take the slip with swags just to end the game right quick get back in and once again we are first place we're we're just trying to end the games as fast as possible y'all and when we do get into these comp games yes they may take a little longer and look at here's a comp game right here we're playing against a top 10 player projo he's literally seventh on the leaderboards in both boot camp right now during this event and he's seventh in the world for levels so this dude is a sweat like this is a comp game he is a couple spots behind us in boot camp so we have to win this game. This is a must win game. We're up 15 to 12. We're trying to get a stop right here. They have an inside center, a sharpshooter, and a lockdown just like us. And they end up taking the two because we leave them wide open. So they take their two and they, they're they relying on their defense. They're confident in their defense. I got sharp takeover though. I'm shooting great this game and they haven't stopped me yet. So I don't know why they were so confident in a defensive stop. But you see, I'm trying to get still get swags the assist. I call for the back door. It's not there. And he throws a bad pass. It's a steal. Their defense works, but Swags with a steal right back. Just a 60 steal rating. And I'm shooting right over those over two people. 18 of 14. What a crazy steal by Swags. We're saying, okay, give him the two. Give him the two. No threes. And I let up a three. And he hits it. One point game. A three wins it. We need to just get a bucket. It could be a two. It could be a three. It could be whatever. I pass it to Swags, trying to give him his assist. They're double teaming. I tell him to slip. Hit the slip. Takes the dunk. And we're up three anything wins it for us we're saying no threes we cannot give up a three no matter what happens do not give up a three center goes to the basket and he just takes the two so they are relying on their defense once again it came through one time but they blew it can it come through again i hit swags i'm trying to get him the assist to help out the rep and look at they foul 20 to 19 they're looking like they're giving the slip for a second but they're not the slip is there, but the, the corner's dropping. I'm not hitting the corner, though. I'm going over here. I have low energy. Swags, he jumps, hits it back up to me. I'm shooting it. I missed it. He gets the offensive rebound, though. We got to score. We cannot blow this. Like, this is the most important game of the event. It's not even close. I'm getting double team. Come off the screen. He plays low, and he's low. I'm greening. Come on, man. You got to step up on that. Where, where's the help center? I mean, he couldn't give up the slip, but it is what it is. We come out of there with a win. And once again, a third comp game in a row we're playing another guy that used to be in the top 10 for levels and we give up a three right there he reaches out of the play i, I was cherry picking because we were up five it is what it is 17 to 12. this guy used to be in the top 10 he's not anymore so he knows what he's doing bro he's a stage player he knows what he's doing he's on center 17 to 15 we give up another three i got 17 points this game i dot gg it's not there the lock's back on him so i'm like okay Take our time. We have to win this game. Another important game. Off ball three. Give me that green. Come on, man. We're getting mastered with comp game after comp game. But we just can't lose. 20 to 15. We're, we're, we're playing good defense. We're on that. We're watching the off ball. The sharp just shoots it over him. Anyways, he misses it. Shoots elite. With the game on the line. I'm shooting in the corner. He check. Get him off the court. That is green. Make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel. We are still first place, even after not getting a crazy fast games. Like we played comp, what was that? Three games in a row and we're still first place. Things are looking promising. Things are looking very good, but there's a lot of time in the event to make a mistake, lose a game, drop down in the event. We can't do that. We gotta stay in the top five and if we can get first place, that would be genuinely insane. But this team right here, we're blowing them out. Look at them like holding ball. Like, I swear that moly guy on the right was purposely holding ball. Like, look at the shot clock. Three seconds. Like, we ran into another team this server, too, where a guy in game chat was, like, actually being weird. I wish I was recording game chat because there was a dude in game chat that was like, oh, hold ball. Guys, make the game take long. Like, bro, what in the weirdo? Like, I don't know, bro. Some people are just weird, bro. I, it, it is what it is, bro. They genuinely 
want to see you fail, bro. And th that's not even just an event. That's just a life thing, bro. But that's a topic for another day, okay? We're getting too deep into that. Anyways, back to the boot camp server. 18 and 3. I'm shooting a fadeaway 3, and we're up 21 to 3. Ends the game. Get them off the court. We're getting fast games in. Like, are you guys looking at the scores? It is extremely fast paced blowouts that aren't even close. You see, we get into another game. Some of these dudes are shooting like 0% from three, and they're not even inside centers. Like, they're just, they just can't hit a shot. Like, and that's, that is what it is. You know, some people are not good with their 75 overalls, but me, on the other hand, I'm looking like a 99 overall out here, just like my boy Gigi is on lockdown, and just like Swags is on center. Now, Swags is a top 10 player as well, so he's getting like plus five stats to his bootcamp build, which is probably helps a lot, to be honest. Anyways, getting into another game right here, you know, this was actually a little close to the most games. Like, most of these games, the teams aren't getting the double digits. This team got the double digits right here. Little pull up fast break three. Give me that grain. And we're back into it. And we're still first place right now. We have dropped this second a couple different times, even at third one time. But so far, we have really kept our lead. We got to keep it, though. There's people behind us that are trying to catch up to us. So we have to keep going. We cannot let our foot off the gas or else we were going to end up paying for it. You see, I'm up by 1,000 on the second place right now. Like, it's a close race, y'all. Like, I can, if I even mess up a little bit, miss even one shot, I could go down a spot and let alone lose a game. Maybe drop out of the top five, okay? So we grant a shot right there, 23 to 10. We're still in first place. And my teammate Swag is in second place now. So now we're really cooking. Like, one in first and second, both on the same team. That's insane. Like, that's genuinely impressive. That doesn't happen often in these events. You see right here, we're cherry picking 20 to 13. This dude was taking forever to shoot an open shot. Misses it anyways. Hits me on the fast break. Going for the fadeaway corner three. And that's green. Once again, y'all can peep the three-point percentage on the top right throughout the event. Because most of the time, we shoot insanely well. Getting into this game, though, we are still first place. And things get crazy. So we play this team right here. And they don't look too crazy. Like, they have good shooting percentages. But it's nothing crazy, right? Like, it's just another game. Okay, not... We've played, like, what, three or four comp games so far in this video. And we were destroying teams that are way better than this, right? So, we get a stop on the first play. I'm going into the pick and roll action. I'm trying to score off a of Swag's assist. So, I could probably score a lot easier if I didn't have to worry about that. But I'm trying to get him his assist, right? Because that's what we were doing this whole time when we play, like, teams that aren't insanely good. So... Even the teams that are good, we do that. So two seconds, one second, we don't really have anything. So I just throw up a random layup. Obviously, that's not going in. They're on the fast break. Shoots a pull-up three, misses, and it goes out of bounds. So a little slow start. The game's taking a little long. No one's even scored yet. I'm getting a little worried. Off ball three, I shoot a yellow, and I green it for my first shot, which is actually a, that was a tough shot. We green it. We give up a layup on the ISO right there, so it's three to two. Things are looking a little weird, though. The game's not going as fast. We're not getting fast break threes. We're struggling to score. And even when we do score, it's not looking pretty. It's a yellow. As you see, we miss right there. That's an early. And then we give up another fast break layup or dunk. So now we're down. We're actually losing, which honestly, this might have been the first time we are losing in the video, to be honest. We get an off ball through here and I miss open again. They gave him a yellow on that, though. I'm not going to lie. There's no way that was a yellow. Like, I looked wide open. So, I missed. I'm one for three now. But then we give up an open three. And now we're down seven to three. So, at this point, I'm like, okay. We got to chill. We got to get a three. It, who, I'm still going for the assist. But I'm not going to lie. We shouldn't have even been going for that at this point. At this point, we just need to score the ball. So, I'm cut off the screen. Hit swags off that. He's not there. Like, they're playing great defense. I get all open off ball for just a second. And I miss again. Like, I went from shooting 70, 80% every game from three. To now, I can't hit a wide open shot. My life depended on it shooting 25 percent and it's not like this team is playing good defense like sometimes they are but bro i'm mi i've missed wide open threes right here we hit gg for the co corner three he hits it and that was his first shot of the event because we were really trying to make sure me and swags were involved every offensive play but at this point bro we're down six we gotta hit gg you know what i'm saying so we're playing defense right here four seconds on the clock and we still give up a floater over all three of us putting us down five and now i'm fading in the corner from three and wow Whoa! I mean, we airballed. Now, I remember that shot during the event. I swear I was delayed. Like, trust me, I played too much hours of 2K to know when I laid a shot. I did not lay that shot. I did it. I know that sounds like an excuse, but I promise you I did it. Anyways, we get open. We green the shot 14 to 9. We're back on defense. This is a must stop right here. I'm not shooting very good. 
and he hits that mini. I don't know if he had his mini upgrade. I mean, he had 12 if he's shooting stuff like that, which is kind of rare for a boot camp build to have a mini upgraded with how expensive it is. Anyways, 16 and 9. I'm getting the open off the Jamal Murray, and I'm hitting some crazy shots right now, like 16 and 12. We need a stop right here, and GG gets us on our stop, and I'm wide open on the fast break three, and I miss it. And this is what I knew. Okay, we lost. Like, and then the game's on me. Like, it's not even like we lost to a team that's just better than us. Like, I beat myself this game. I'm missing wide open threes, and it's affecting us a lot. And not only that, it's making the game take way longer, and we're also getting no points for it. So I miss again, and we end up losing on this possession. And wow, that that's bad. Okay, so we did lose the game. And we hop in right into another game because it's like, okay, we got to make up for that loss and we got to start ending games extremely fast. Because if we don't, we might be in trouble. And if we lose again, we're not going to win this event. Okay, so we end that game super fast. Literally a huge blowout, 23 to 2. And we get into another game. And I'm first place still. I don't know how I'm first after losing a game. But that's insane. So we're like, okay, we're chilling. Our lead that we had, though, up on sixth place, the, the person that's right out of the top five and on second, third, is not nearly as much as it was. Like, I think we lost like a 7K lead. Like, we had like a 35K lead on six. Now we only have like a 23K. So it just wasn't as big as a lead. And look at, I'm, all, I'm getting a little close to dropping out of first place. Like, if Trey ends a game right here, he's in first. So I'm still in first. An hour and 42 left in the event. And we're playing another team that knows what they're doing. But guess what? We were like, no, we're not losing another game. Time to blow these dudes out. No more playing around. And after shooting bad that one game, bro, I was locked. I was like, I'm not having one of those games again. You see, I'm shooting 83% from three this game. I got sharp take. These dudes are missing open. I I'm locked. I'm literally tapped in. I should join immediately after that game. We get into another one. I'm still in first place. I'm the first person to be above 300,000 my points. We get into another game. These guys knew what they were doing too, but guess what? It don't matter. We're too locked. We not about to lose. Look at me shooting back fade corner threes. That's green. I was really in my bag. Like, I know I shot bad that one game, but when I tell y'all I was shooting so good in this event, I was looking at like prime Steph Curry, bro. I'm, I'm not even trolling, bro. The percentages I was shooting on a 75. Look at this team right here. They're literally doubling me off ball. This dude's flopping because they're giving up. It, it, it's good. It's good bad for them. Okay. Now I miss open, which is rare. So sometimes, I mean, y'all are seeing, I do miss open with sharp take, but look at the top right. I'm still shooting 75% from three. We're just waiting for these dudes to take a wide open shot. He misses anyways, throw it down to me. I'm on the other side. So they're confused where I'm at. We get that game over with. Okay. So back into the event center and I drop down to second place. Now we just need to get top five. So dropping down the second isn't the biggest of deals, but it is a sign that like we are not keeping up to speed. Okay. So you, you don't like to see that. Anyways, we're into another game, hit a three on the fast break. This team could not hit a shot. Just like a lot of teams We're shooting 88% from three GG with a clutch deal and steals like that from GG are going to make our job a lot easier. Like even just saving 15, 20 seconds is huge in this event. Okay. So we're down like four or five K from first. We're, we basically just got to try to lap them. Okay. We got to end the game before they can finish a game and then get into another game before they get out of that game. If that makes sense. Cause once again, this thing is really like a race who can finish more games at a certain capacity of my points throughout the four hours, right? Like if, if me and another guard are getting 10k a game, it's a really a race at that point who can lap the other person who can end games faster over the course of the hours of this event okay so that's really what it was looking like with a lot of these teams at the top like we're all gonna get like 10 11 12k my points a game it's just who's gonna end the games faster who's gonna lap people and who's gonna get the most games over the course of the four hours if that makes sense so that's really what it's coming down to at this point so 18 to 2 they shoot an early on the fast break once again i'm shooting like 89 percent from three that game i'm looking crazy okay Y'all saw the build in the beginning of the video. If you didn't, go ahead and check it out if you're interested. An hour and 13 left in the event. An hour and 13 left. We are one of, we are three fourths basically done with this event. And we are been top five the entire time. There's no way we fall out, right? If anything, we should be going for first place at this point. You see, I'm shooting 88% from three again. And I'm just shooting over that. He reaches, doesn't get a contest. And that's green. You reach, I teach. That's really how it is in 2K24. Because if you reach when someone's shooting the ball, you don't get a contest. So 
you know, I, I, I was shooting over those sometimes when people reach it. Anyways, getting into another game, bro. You see my three point percentage? It's like 77, 78 on this boot camp build. That is insane. That is crazy. By the way, if y'all want the jump shot, I'm using Tracy McGrady base. It's from my last video. Go check it out. It's OP. I might have to make another 6'8 just to get a mid range high enough for T Mac base because, wow, it is crazy. Anyways, we get into another comp game right here. Our sixth comp game of the video. I mean, we're running into some good teams and they were running a 6'2 point guard. Look at, I'm shooting almost 78 for 7 over 3. That is crazy. Uh, they had a lockdown, they had a center as well. They were basically running our lineup, but they had a 6'2 center. So right off the gate, I'm going around the screen looking to get something, and he's 6'2", so I'm confident running around these screens. I hit swags right here on the... Wow. I mean, it, they just made me throw it out of bounds. It is what it is. We got to deal with it. Anyways, back on defense. It's 0-0. Zero zero, not the start we were looking for. This dude gets slightly open, but shoots a very late... Don't know what was going on with that. I shoot the pull-up three. I missed time it. It is, it is what it is. Because we're going to get it right back. You see, we're playing good defense. He almost gets in the lane. They hit their popper. And that's when we realized they had a shooting center. So we're down three to zero. They're running a slightly different lineup. They got a shorter guard. They got a center that can shoot. Look at me shoot over the center. 11% on the first shot. Okay. I'm locked in. Three to three. I'm guarding that corner. He thought that was open. Now I'm there. I'm there. I'm also going to be in the lane with my 91 steal. And this dude forced that. I don't know what he was doing. Swags gets the rebound. That is a huge stop. Fast break three. I hit that. And now we have our first lead of the game. Six to three. And look at Gigi with the inbound steal. And just like that, I'm over for three. That's green. Now we up six. We were just down three a second ago. And now in a blink of an eye, we are up nine to three with those defensive stops. Like I said, those inbound steals from Gigi, they're going to go a long way. The popper shoots another three. That's a yellow though. He's kind of forcing at this point. We get the ball back. I'm going to go ahead, shoot the fadeaway corner three with heat check. And that is green again. Yo, we are. It's looking like a blowout. 12 to three. And look at Swaz getting a lane steal. What is that? Like our third, maybe fourth steal of the game. I'm shooting a front fade. That was kind of a bad shot. But Swaz, look at him hustling for the rebound. Doesn't get it, unfortunately. But it's tipped. And I get it right back. I hit Swag so he can get the assist. And that is green. 15 to three. I'm shooting 71% from three this game. They hit the popper. He can't even hit a wide up and shot at this point. I'm cherry picking against this team. Like that's how got bad it got. Just like against Patch Made Ant earlier in the video, if you guys saw that, it got that bad against this team. Look at we're leaving them wide open. And he can't shoot. Get us out of here. 21 to 3 is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. And just like that, we're still top two. Y'all make sure to hit that subscribe button, by the way, for if you want me to try to win every single event this year, because honestly, we could collect the affinity stones at this point with how many unlimited boosts we are collecting. Anyways, he misses a shot right there. He's lading like we're cherry picking at this point. You see, once again, 75% from three. I'm never cutting out my percentages. You know, maybe one game or two, I'll shoot like 56 or something, but 75, 80 for the most part. You see, look at, they're like doubling me. I'm hitting swags on the roll. He just takes the dunk to get us out of that game. And we have less than an hour left, y'all. And I just, wait, is that, what, yo, 55 minutes left? Oh, it's it's going to the countdown. It, it's counting down. We are almost done. And look at who we run into. The team we played earlier in the event, they were top 15. And now they're top 10. Their point guard faded talent and their center are both in the top 10. Good that's huge. That's fucking huge, Gigi. That's fucking huge. <laughs> I told you, nigga, I guess. And as you can see, we're locked in. I mean, we're communicating. We're hype. We're not trying to lose to these guys. And look at Faded Talent. They were playing just like they were earlier in the event. They're playing weird. They're just throwing off balls to him, not even passing to their lockdown if he's open. And that's kind of how we were playing a little bit, though. So I can't blame him. Look at I get this bad animation where I miss Swag's return. Gets the rebound. Back at to me. I was shooting that three. And that's green. Giving us a three-point lead. We have to win this game. If we lose this game, we go down in the ranks. And they might get into the top five and maybe even replace us. These guys are both in the top 12 for boot camp. So we need to win this. This is a huge comp game. and could allow other people to sneak into the top five. As GG gets a steal. Yo, we are locked in. One three-pointer away. I could hit GG right here. But we need to get our my points. And we're going to risk it. Wide up at three with sharp takeover. And I missed it. No, I missed, but this dude shoots oversized. Yo, what is he shooting? A heavily contested with the game on the line. What is he doing? 
18, 15. I have takeover. GG's wide open and Swags is telling me to hit him. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just get out of this game. I'm going to hit GG. He misses. And I'm like, okay, Swags, hit me, hit me. Let me get the assist. I hit GG again. Two for a dollar. Get us out of here. And we are 2-0 against that team now. That is crazy. Y'all make sure to subscribe to the channel for us winning these calm games right here. 50 minutes to go. And look at who we're playing. We're playing them again. I mean, how many times are we going to play this guy? Now they're now they're at like the edge of top 10, a little out of top 10 after that loss. So if we beat them again. And that's green from half court. Yo, we are going crazy. We were just down 11 to 9. Now we're up 12 to 11. I have four threes this game. If we beat them again, we're going to if we're going to lose them their event. He shoots a heavily contested again. Great defense. We are 2 0 against this team. And now it's looking like we're going to be 3 0 with the green right there. Are we single handedly putting this team out of their misery and eliminating from them, them from the event? We basically are if they lose this game. 15 to 11. They're trying to get faded talent open on the off ball, and we are just all over it. If they want to go for a back door, they probably have it. He shoots an open. It was a you know a ghost contest, but it wasn't a bad shot for how much we were guarding him. 15 to 11. Jamal Murray step back over both of them. And that's green. I'm looking unstoppable. 18 to 11. He's trying to get open off ball again. Swags with the turtle or the steal, causing the turnover. And wow. I mean, he has an 86 pass I see on the center build. That's just unlucky. Look how open their lockdown is. They just don't care. Even down seven. They're still just forcing it to the guard even on a back door for a layup. And at that point, they're not even trying to win. They're just trying to get some extra buy points because they know they're not going to win this game, which I mean, I can understand that. I would probably be doing the same thing. Wide open on the off ball. That's green. And now we are three and O against that team in this video. That is insane. We dropped the second place though, because that game took a little long and I'm 9,000 behind first. This is the, the, the lowest I've been on the leaderboards all event. 9K below first. That's basically an entire game. So we got to get do some catching up. That's for sure. We got some catching up to do if we want to get first place. And as you can see, we're still down. We got to lock in 40 minutes to go into the event. We have played eight competitive games. We're probably not going to play another one because I want to know what's crazy about that is we beat so many of the good teams in this event that we eliminated a lot of them. We made a lot of them stop playing because even one or two losses could lose you the entire event. I mean, we gave one team three losses. We we gave a loss to a Projo who is seventh place who hasn't been in the top 10 since. We gave a loss to a couple other teams that could easily be in the top 10 that aren't even sniffing the top 10 anymore. So we were eliminating a lot of the good teams, which was helping us out because by the end of the event, there was only so much teams that were even still playing that had a genuine chance at getting the top five. So those games that I showed y'all throughout the video had even more meaning than we had thought at the time. So anyways, we're still hawking. We're trying to get the first place. Of course, keep our top five. Look at, I'm back in first with 30 minutes to go. We caught up. We're back in first. We're playing more bums. 18 to eight. They finally make an open three right there. 18 to 11. You see, I'm shooting 88% from three. I'm like, Swags, just give me the ball. Give it back to you. Get the assist. I'm trying to get open to off ball. Like I'm Steph Curry going around shooting. A, oh, oh, I missed. Who was that? Damn, he got a yellow on that. Shooting the corner fadeaway three. And that's green. Get us out of here. Get us the win. Less than 30 minutes to go. 26 minutes. I'm still first place. I'm 2,000 my points ahead of, ahead of second. And then you see, look at Ankles is eighth place and Faded Talent is ninth. We beat them three times. And they are eighth and ninth place. That is crazy, y'all. I mean, let me know in the comments. You Y'all got to agree with me. I think we've actually lost them in the event, beating them three times. They're eighth and ninth. Imagine it, bro. If we didn't beat them those three times, bro, they would definitely be top five. They would 100% be top five. Anyways, look, I'm shooting 78% from three. Like, I'm going crazy. We're cherry picking again. 18 and 12. He misses right there. Shooting the open three. Get us out of that game. Once again, shooting 88% from three. I'm missing like maybe one three a game, making seven. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. We we really are looking like prime Steph Curry. Like I said, I tried to tell y'all earlier in the video. You might have not been listening, but I mean, I clearly am shooting like it. Sharp take, heat check. I catch the ball and I'm just shooting it. I'm just shooting it. That's a yellow. It don't matter, man. This is 
the green machine going, the sharp take going, the heat check going. Why not let it fly? You know? Anyways, we're getting to the end of the event. The, uh, lots of, you know, it, it would be hard for us not to get top five. But at this point, we're going for first place. I might be the only guard in the top five. I think maybe fifth was. I know Swags is on a center. Trey's on a center. Um, I don't know about official Tay. I know Solo is on a center. So I know most of the people in the top five are centers. So as a guard, I got to put on for the rest of my guards out there. I got to get first place right here. We're leaking out again. 18 to eight sharp take. Actually, we had mama mentality that game because we were going so crazy and we ended again. So once again, getting into another game Now this was the last game. There was there was like seven minutes left in the game or in the event. And this game took so long. Look at 20 to 19. This game took seven minutes, probably our longest game of the event. And I green it and the event's over. I joined the event center and look at I'm first place with 12 seconds left. 10, nine, eight, first place still. I'm refreshing, trying to see. We have 520,000 my points. Is that gonna be enough? One second, there goes the buzzard and we are first place. We're screenshotting it. We leave the event and we did it not only did we get top five rewards, but we became the number 175 overall player on 2K24. Congratulations. Thank you for playing boot camp. We got our rewards, 25,000 VC, some Gatorade boosts, unlimited playmaking boosts. We got the, uh, the banner. We got the jacket that we already had, and then we get the boot camp jersey, the rarest jersey in the game. And wow. Like I said, we're basically collecting the Infinity Stones. Look at our boost. We got lamps and dunks from 2K League in the rec no event. We got the cages from rebounding boost. And now we got boot camp with the playmaking boost. The jersey's looking great on me. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And make sure to go check out some other event videos that are on the screen. You will not regret it. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double H. And I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.